Hello, welcome to the ITL. Oh, this has been a different week, we'll call it. Different week. It started, you think about it, it started in that incident that happened at the, uh, down in Texas. And uh, I'm trying to uh, avoid certain key words here due to, uh, let's say, our friends in YouTube. So, but yeah, I'm trying to, uh, let's go ahead and we all know what happened in that uh, place of worship in Texas. And um, yeah, and I mean, I'm shooting this Wednesday, middle of the week, hump day. And already you're seeing uh, conspiracy videos popping up on YouTube that was a hoax and all this crap. You know what, I, I, I'm to the point where uh, it, it is what it is, and it was a heinous thing in my eyes. I'm not going to call it a hoax. I'm, I mean, I, I tend not to believe them, um, but that's that's just me. I mean, you you do whatever you want to do. You choose whatever you want to choose. Well, as you see, we're in the garage today, and uh, due to well, it's pretty darn cold outside. Pretty darn cold. I just had my heater on for a little while to uh, try and get the moisture out of the garage here a little bit because it's been raining about for a week now, over a week now. And uh, I just wanted to get a little bit of the moisture out because we're supposed to get see the teens here the next couple of nights. Upper teens and like, uh, let's get the moisture out. Uh, no riding videos you've seen. It was just, uh, the, the weather was just not working with me, so, and I decided it wasn't worth chancing the hip, hurting the hip, so I opt out for this week. Uh, the, book did, the, the goat did get started up around, though. I, I do that once a week anyway, just to start up, let it idle out, and uh, then I go through and check all the, the, the liquids and the fluids in it, and what not? Just my basic love for the goat, I guess. You might say it's it's you do it too often. It, it, it's me. It, I do what I do. You do what you would you want to do as far as that goes. Because I mean, too often in my eyes doesn't hurt hurt the bike. But but I mean, I'll I'll tell you uh, my weekly uh, journeys on Tuesday mornings. I go to a. Uh, I, 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 I do uh, something with the church. Okay, I'll put it that way. And whenever we do, I, what I do, they uh, the, the church actually gives us a uh, com uh, a breakfast in the morning for, do for, uh, for doing it. And it's also a bread bank type setup where the people come in on Tuesday, mor Tuesday mornings and they get bread and sweets, and we all normally have uh, veg uh, vegetables or fruit that they can take on fresh vegetables or fruit. And we were sitting there. I was sitting there, and I was, I, we, we, we created a small group that actually will sit there and eat together, and we'll talk together. And, I mean, I've let out known that I, I am somewhat religious, and, I mean, that's one of the reasons I go to the church. <laughs> instead of somewhere else for my time and it uh this lady that i've she's she's known about me being around the, about around the church area and for a long time but i've just never i mean i'm not good with names i'm better with faces and even then it takes me a while to uh to get for it to kick in but she came, she sat down with us and we were eating breakfast. It was just a group of us, small group, and she meant she brought up about what happened Sunday at down Texas. And I I spoke to her and I I didn't do no no jumping on her because she was anti gun and she said that that just shows you we needed to do with guns period make them all illegal. And I didn't I didn't jump on her. I just said okay. I told her, I said, if somebody walked right through the door with a gun, and a bad guy's going to get a hold of a gun one way or another. If it's not a gun, it's going to be an explosive, whatever it is. And I said, if a bad guy does that, 
There's nobody, nobody's going to be here to protect you. We're all dead. And she said, yeah, that could happen, just like what happened, basically almost what happened down in Texas, exactly. I said, and I'll put myself an example I told her. I said, I'll put myself out. If I had a firearm, if I knew how to use that firearm, if I was licensed to conceal carry that firearm so nobody would be scared in the church, I would be able to so I, I would be able to at least help and try to defend you and hopefully not as many people would would get hurt or die. And she sat there and she said, "Yeah, that does make sense." I mean, she was totally before the start. She was totally against guns, firearms, and she said, "But that makes sense." I said, I said, "I told her I said, by saying that they're illegal to get is taking them out of the hands of the individuals that could help you out, the good guys, not just the police, because the police ain't going to show up for 10, 15 minutes." And she said, "Yeah." And I said, she said, and then then I had a friend that was happened to be a, a lady who was sitting beside me, and she she spoke up, said, uh, and to let you know, Mike does have a CCW permit, he does carry, he's even shown me the paperwork showing that he has had training, and her mouth about hit the floor and her eyes got the big of not. Not size of sauces, but plates. And I, I just let it go at that. I just let it go at that. Later on that morning, she came back and she said, you know what, you changed my mind. You changed my whole attitude about this. Because I tried to explain to her, it was not a gun issue. It was a mental health issue. And she she, she said, I totally agree with with what with, with what you said now. I said, we do need to have people that are able to get their license, the permit, which Pennsylvania, I'll be honest with you, Pennsylvania, to get your carrying permit, it's almost a joke. It really is. But you got to take the extra steps to get trained. Now, do I get out to the range as much as I want to? No, I can't afford to get out to the range. I don't have the health to get out to the range. But I'm hoping to have that, um, what would be the right word, uh, change in the, in the future. Um, but I am proficient in firearms. I mean, am I an, an expert? No. No. I'm proficient enough to for protection. And, I mean, I, I grew up around firearms. I'm not afraid of them. I know how to deal with, how to handle them. But, I mean... I'll be honest with you, to, to, and I know this is going to probably take this video a little bit long, lengthy. I mean, I've really, I've watched the times go by where they closed the last, uh, say, a mental health facility, a residential facility for adults and stuff. Uh, they call, used to call them sanitariums. Um, back in the 80s. The last one closed back in the 80s. And it was... Were they ran properly? No, no. They were they were hideously ran, actually. I mean, but the thing is, whenever they open the doors up, they let all the crazies out. They they have. I hate to put them that way, but it it, it is what it is. They let the nuts out, and uh, I hate just having having my nuts out. But anyway, it was. Uh, right grass on that one. Sorry, guys. But I I I. Uh, I really, uh, they say, wow, what's going on now? Well, you have all these mental health, people with mental health issues running around town. And, and they, they say, yeah, they, with proper medication, they can be handled. Most of, a lot of them can't be. They're just in there drooling and they're walking around like zombies. I've seen them around. They're not, I mean, they're all, uh, they're lucky that their pants are zipped up a lot of times. Uh, they're hanging down. And, I mean, they look like homeless people. But, I mean, now I'm not trying to put down homeless people either. So don't, so don't even think that. But anyway, it's like, this is insane. 
Um, yeah, part of them can be dealt with medications. But once they start feeling better, a lot of times they'll drop the medications on their own at home. They're not being supervised over this. And then they end up being back at square one, which things can happen. And I'll be honest with you, with this incident to happen in, on Sunday, this ain't the first time. This ain't the first time. This ain't the first time in this country that a place of worship. That's why I'm putting it that way. Because it's different religion. It's not the same religion. A place of worship has been sh attacked and shot up. Or been attacked and, with an explosion device. Explosive device. It's not the first time. And most of the time there's mental health involved in it. I'm not saying all the time, I'm saying most of the time. Good, but big majority of the time. And nothing is being done for the people that need to be, need to be done for mental health. It, it just, what's the right answer? I can't say, I can't say. I actually, my wife, she actually, I, I know I refer to her off and on, but anyway, she used to work in the mental health field. She used to be a counselor. And she actually made that comment many years ago, and I agreed with her, that there's not enough, there's more mental health facilities, more mental health help, the proper help, for somebody that is a teenager or younger than there is an adult. And once they've proven to, that, to, that they are incapable of staying on the proper medications to help them out, If they prove themselves not to be able to handle that, they they they, they need to be, I'll say, looked after somehow. Let must it be they need to be uh, locked up or maybe like a, a halfway type setup. But I mean, even that, they'll find a way to escape and not come back. I mean, what's the answer? What's the answer? I can't tell you. I I don't know. I don't know that there. I don't think there is a perfect answer for it. I really don't. But the best thing we could do is get the help the most as many as we can. And if they don't want the help, there there's no way you're going to be able to help them. And that's that's the answer too. That's part of the answer. If they don't want the help, you're not going to help them. In that case, they need to be held responsible for their actions and do the proper time. Let it be in jail, whatever prison, whatever. I mean, and I've seen enough, uh, personally, I've seen enough times where people has gotten off with crimes. The, the, the police officer, for whatever reasons, would say the person who did the crime, it, they have mental health problems, so we can't. We don't want to do. We don't want to prosecute. We don't want to go for any further with this. What we'll do is we'll drop them off to hospital and just let it go. That's what happens. To where, if they're, in my opinion, if they are able to, if they're responsible enough and able enough to be in society, in my eyes. They should be able to reap the consequences of what they have done whenever they've break, broken a crime. And I mean, yes, it, this doesn't relate too much with what happened on Sunday because I mean he ended up being killed or whatever. Commissioner said whatever he was dead in the end. Um, but. It, he might have he might have been able to be stopped before that, and and I don't know. I've heard words, and I don't know how much true that uh, actually he there was he shouldn't have been able to buy the firearms that he had because of the Air Force might have dropped the ball on that one, and I'm not going to get into that one. But I mean, it's just what I've heard. I don't know if it's true or not. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna spread it any further except for you know I have heard that. And it might be something, if you're interested, you can look into it to find out if it's actually fact or not. I don't know. Like I said, this is Wednesday. This is early for me on this. Um, there probably is information out on the Internet on it already. So, I mean, I, I, I apologize if there's absolute proof on it. I'm just going to say that I don't know right now. Um, 
But, I mean, these people need help. And this isn't like, like that. And that's something I do applaud President Trump on. From what I understand, he first came out and said, this is not a gun issue. This is a mental health issue. And I've been saying this for years. And it's just like, when is it going to get through to people? And it seems like it's not. And I'm saying, why? Why are, I mean, I know what you're going to say about the local media. But, I mean, whenever it's so obvious, people should step up and think about it. And I know a lot of people just go off by the local media, whatever they say. I mean, they're going to say what they want to say. They're going to cover it, but they're going to cover it with their own twist. And it's like, you know what? I digress on that one. I'm not going to get into that argument. I just really don't feel like it. Uh, I hope, I hope that I tend, uh, that next week will be a lot better for us as a country, United States. Um, for some reason in my gut, I feel that it's not going to be. This is not going to be ironed out for a while. I think we have uh, serious struggles coming on. And I don't know what they will be, but it's just a gut feeling. But I hope you as an individual, whoever's watching it, my viewers watching it, I hope you have a great week. I really do. Um, this last week, I i mean, like I said, I i didn't get to ride the bike. And that's, that was due to the weather. And I did feel a little under the weather. I did come, I catch a bug, caught a bug. This was after Tuesday, so. I mean, for Tuesday, so it was... This last week, is I, I mean, I did catch a little bit of a bug, and I'm getting over that. And it's part of the part of core for this type of year, this season for me. Um, you think about it. My body went through uh, uh, something really seriously dramatic, dramatic to it, and uh, with the surgery and with all my, I'm on so many different medications and everything else. My immune system is just down the commode and I do have fibromyalgia on top of it so my, I'm compromised anyway. So it's just like oh throw me a cold that's okay I'll get over it I'll, I'll take care of myself I'll get over it and move on. That was just one of those weeks this is just one of those weeks. But like I was saying, starting to say sorry for dragging this on guys. This is Muscle Mike hoping you and I mean you have a great week, signing out.